think that I was sleepwalking? Don't worry, I don't suffer from somnambulism. Somnambulism is a medical state when a person walks in his or her sleep. Sleep, siesta, nap, slumber, different words that explain or refer to that peaceful and restful state of mind, which is sleep. Have you ever wondered what is sleep? Have you ever thought what happens when we sleep? Today, we are going to learn about the wonder called sleep. And I'm Shruti from St. John's Public School and I'll make sure you don't sleep through the lesson. Alright, before we go on to the activity, before we go on to the lesson, I want to do a small activity with you. I'll be showing up a few sentences to you, few statements, and I want you to take a guess whether they are true or false. So here we go. Horses can sleep standing. You forget 90% of your dreams when you wake up. It is impossible to sneeze while sleeping. A snail can sleep for three years. Somniphobia is the fear of falling asleep. So what do you think? You'll be surprised to know all these statements are facts. You and I might not have thought a lot about sleep, but a lot of research has been going on about the subject of sleep. All right, let's get to our lesson. Let's start with a question. What is sleep? Sleep is that unconscious state of rest. When I say unconscious, we are not consciously thinking anything or we are physically inactive. What happens when we sleep? When we sleep, there are two different activities which take place. One, physiological changes and two, activities of the mind. Physiological changes refer to the muscles which relax when we sleep. Then your heartbeat comes down. Your blood pressure and body temperature also lower when you sleep. These are the things which happen physically, physiological changes. So what happens to our mind? Don't be fooled, our mind is still at work, though the rate of work comes down. The brain activity comes down considerably. Dreams happen. What are dreams? A dream is an activity of the mind when we are asleep. How do dreams help? Dreams help us in sleeping through the noise. Suppose if you're very, if you're conscious of what is happening around you when you're asleep, you will definitely not fall asleep. So dreams help us to sleep through noises such as doorbells or alarms or anything for that matter. Next, dreams, doctors believe that help us to identify any problems in your life. In fact, there was a lot of research on the subject of dreams and the famous psychologist Sigmund Freud had a book on interpretation of dreams. He believed that dreams are symbolic in nature and they give you a key to your problems, psychological problems. So if you look at sleep, your body like a machine, it needs rest. You cannot overwork, therefore your body also requires rest. So when you re sleep, your body recharges, it recuperates and it re-energizes itself. You recover from your fatigue. So basically, when you talk about sleep, there are three things that you need to keep in mind. One, what is sleep? Sleep is an unconscious state of rest. Next, what are the things that happen when you sleep? Two things to keep in mind. Physiological changes and activities of the mind. Next, what is a dream? A dream is an unconscious, a dream is an activity of the mind when you are asleep. So I hope you have learned about the wonder called sleep. Now you might be wondering why is it called a wonder? Because when you sleep, you never know when you are going to sleep. What happens to you when you sleep? The beautiful poem by the poet 
Edward Thomas summarizes to you well. Lights out. I have come to the borders of sleep, the unfathomable deep forest where all must lose their way. However straight or winding, soon or late, they cannot choose. There is not any book or face of dearest look that I would not turn from now to go into the unknown. I must enter and leave alone. I know not how. So the poet tries to tell to us how you cannot choose when you want to sleep and if at all if you sleep, how long will you sleep? Thank you.